in the box, man. I don't know what's in the box. It's a mystery box. It's got to be a mystery box. And when it's a mystery box with the SAS, that means it's a super box. Bam! That's right. This edition of Quick Chips is a super box sent to us directly from Florida by Mr. Dirty mm. from the GTM show. Coming from the Sunshine State, full of all kinds of surprises. That's right. And today's bounty is a bounty indeed of Tom's brand chips. Whoa. Absolutely a uh, brand that we don't get a lot up here. Yeah, this is totally one of those deals that uh, they don't get. we don't get the tapes when they do. No, we sure don't. None I've of this. I've seen Tom's a couple of times in the past at Harris Teeter, but it seems to disappear as quickly as it came. Yeah, there's, there's not any time I can think of where I remember seeing it on a regular basis. No, not at all. Let's go ahead and get all these bags out of Man, here. Man, there's all kinds of Looks stuff. We, like got we got pork skins. Five things to try today. Wow. He also sent us some other things that you may or may not have already seen on Quick Chips, depending on the schedule. Who knows? All right, but of the five things that we have today, we have two potato chips, two pork rinds, and something that I consider a wild card. Right, let's start with the potato chips since they are the more traditional. Yeah. We've got two different kinds. We've got their Tom's Waves. Uh, they are the buffalo wing flavor. Oh, so there should be some spice and kick to this. That's right. And then the other right. potato chips are the... Tom sour cream and onion. Ugh, and you know, I'm not, I know, I'm not a fan of sour cream and onion, but I'll take a bullet for the snack society. That's right. <laughs> Mr. Dirty trying to get us in trouble here. There you go, a little closer shot of the bags there. Tom's apparently part of the Lance Corporation, same people that make the uh, crack, the crackers. Oh, no, the, the crack, huh? The crack, <laughs> no, the crackers. Those, those orange crackers with the peanut butter that those, the kids like to tear up. Those are the crack. That's right. All right, let's see here. Let's go ahead and pull open these uh, buffalo chips first. The wavy ones. Wavy ones. Okay, let's see. Ooh, definite buffalo. Yeah, I buffalo a scent from over here. Yeah, and very vinegary. Here you go. Taking a look yep. at those. Very typical wavy chip, some That's orange right. coloring to it. Very vinegar smelling. That's right. Yes. It says on the back, simply made with the finest quality ingredients. Yep. All right, let's, let's find see. out. Kind of get the vinegar to the back end. I yep. can wait for it until I swallow it. It's like, oh, there it is. But it's not that strong. I expected it's stronger. So far, I'm not getting a lot of heat. Mm -mm. No heat. There's actually celery on the front here. That's kind of interesting. Mm. I thought it was jalapenos at first, but I think it's... I know, those are celery. That's not jalapenos. I'm seeing seeds. There is some little red peppers in there. Yeah. No, no, a little, a little bit of heat, but not much. Not very much at all. But it is buffalo flavor. Yeah. It, it has that flavor of the say, sauce. It doesn't say hot wings. It says buffalo wings. Right, so yeah. it is what it is, I think. Yeah. I, yeah, it's okay. They're, they're solid chips. They're nice and crunchy. I like the waviness of them. They went with a good idea on um, the style of chip they're using. A um, little bit of spice, good flavor. I go three quarters on them. I'd want more heat mm -hmm. to make it all the way up, or more flavors in general to bump it all the way up to a full thumbs up. Yeah. But three quarters, pretty solid. Yeah, I like these, and I'd probably eat them quite a bit. But they're not quite salty enough for me, and not quite hot enough for me yeah. to really, really super uh, put my uh, stamp of approval on them. So yeah. I would probably say, yeah, three quarters thumbs up. Is All right. About right for the buffalo wing flavor of Tom's wavy potato chips. Mm. And it's how it works out. Now we're going to go with sour cream. So, you know, if they had been hot, I would be like, oh, we, now we, need, a, we, need, a, we need to cool it down some. That's right. And this mm. says the same thing on the back. Simply made with the Finest quality ingredients. Finest quality. They don't mess around mincing words, apparently. Yeah, Tom's keeps it short and simple. Dollar nine for this bag. I think the others were the same. Yep. Don't say dollar. Yeah, dollar nine across yeah. the board. I also, this is a budget item. I like that. Yeah. Now, definitely oh. getting that sour cream and onion smell. Oh yes, we are. I am not a fan. Getting hit over the head with it quite a bit. And big old green flex on there. Some kind of chives yep. or something like that. Very much exactly. What I would expect. Yeah. So, yeah, let's, I'm just going to dive in here. Salud. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, they got flavor. Mm -hmm. Flavor I don't like. Right. <laughs> but it's there. Yeah, these are. Mmm. I would say this of the two, 
even though I don't like these, I'm more impressed with these than those. These are spot on what they say they are. I don't like them, but that's because I don't like that flavor. Mm -hmm. So for me personally, they're a thumbs down, but being they're so darn, they're right on what they are. And I think people really dig these. These I'll go full thumbs up on for just what they are. I just personally don't like them, but there's, I, there's nothing I can take away from them. They're a sour cream and onion chip, and I just don't like sour cream and onion chips, but they're exactly what they say they are. So full thumbs up in that regard. He's right about that, but I do like sour cream and onion chips, and this literally tastes like he took a chip and he dipped it in some French onion mm -hmm. dip. Yes. And they taste absolutely just like that. And uh, wow, the only thing that's missing is the actual you know, lubrication and viscosity <laughs> of the uh, dip, but... Uh, the flavor is all 100% there. These might be the best sour cream and onion chips I've ever tasted. Full thumbs up. Unanimous on both of these. There you go. You won't have to worry about me eating those from you. So there you all go. All right. <laughs> Oh boy. Go with uh, pork skins. Pork skins. Oh boy. We going to the bowling alley. They don't even call them pork rinds. They call them pork skins. Okay. Got two flavors of those. Hot flavored. It literally says hot flavored. <laughs> and they're angry orange yeah. and vinegar and salt. Yeah, not the other way around. Not salt and vinegar. Vinegar and salt. Man, both of these. I don't go into the pork skins realm too much, but these could be interesting. I don't know. Anytime is Tom's time, apparently, and both of these are one intense snack experience. Let's go with intense. Uh, vinegar and salt first. Anytime is Tom's time. Mm. Okay, as we've uh, documented before, my father likes pork rinds. Puts hot sauce on them. Ooh, they are very vinegary. Yeah, extremely so. Vinegary in the scent. And definitely pork scented as well. Yes. They're uh, nice and big. They're, yeah, not, not no tiny mealy little no. ones. These, these are some damn skins. Those are real skins. I don't yeah. see any hairs. No, I, no, I, I'm, I'm not noticing any of those either. But yeah, this is this is the real deal. Do it. Uh, mm. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's bitter. It's like, bam, punch you in the mouth. God. Woo. One bite, it's all over my tongue. Mm. <laughs> that's what she said. Yeah, it's God. Damn. Oh, man. Yeah. I don't know if I can eat her one of these. I think that, that is, they're not kidding about intense. Yeah, it is intense. That word is correct there. Holy cow. Oh, I want to take a, a sip to wash it away, but I figure I shouldn't. I'm going to take another bite. Mmm. There oh, is, yeah. There is a reason they put vinegar and salt. It's all vinegar. It's all vinegar. The salt is an afterthought. Yeah. Oh, oh God. When you when you swallow it, it's just like almost makes my my throat pucker. Yeah. It's so damn vinegary. Too vinegary. Yeah. I don't know. Is this? Are is there people want this kind of heavy amount of vinegar? Do people I actually can't... dip their pork rinds in vinegar? Yeah. I mean, I can't eat a second one. Those, are, those two bites were, they ain't hit about intense, I'll give them that, but damn! That one was like a fortune cookie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I wish it had more salt, that's what I would say. Yeah, to I'm balance it out a little yeah, bit. I'm hoping the heat ones will be better. Those are, I, I can't eat them. Those I gotta go, I don't know if people will be into that or not. I'm going to, I'm not going to go full thumbs down because they are what they say they are. They are intense, they are too, they're super vinegar. But I'm going like a quarter. Those are just, I can't eat them. Yeah. They're painful. Yeah, they're Ugh. they're definitely what they say they are. I could probably eat them a little bit more than you would want to eat yeah. them, but not much more. So I'm gonna go with a half of the thumb up. Mm. Lots of vinegar, not that much salt. Uh, the vinegar overrides the pork flavor as well. I, I would really like to hear from people that are into these to get their take on them. So yeah. comments down below or hit us up on the Twitter, you know, hashtag Snack Society, like we say. Tell us about those because. That is intense. That's right. Very intense. Well, if they're if these are as intense yeah. as those, we're in trouble. That says hot with fire around it. It's hot flavor. But this is the kind of thing I would be more into. So it's the flavor of fire. Flavor of fire. Is it is it gonna burn us? When they smell they they got a weird smell. The pork is, the pork is more than the hot on the yeah. smell. Lots the, of the pork. smell is kind of off putting. A little bit. Fla oh we 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 just flavored cheap. Chicharrones. Chicharrones. That's right. There you go. Well, zero grams of total carbs, Rick. Rick Rosso. Works out on wearing my Perro Stum All shirt. There you go. There you go. Keeping it Mexico here. Do it. All right. Not nearly as intense. Mm-mm. At all. No. I'm waiting for the... I'm waiting for the... Okay, here comes a little bit. 
I ate the whole one I had. Mm -hmm. I have a little bit of heat. Mm -hmm. A little bit. I think it would build nicely. Definitely better than those other ones. Just a little bit of Sunday night heat. Mm hmm. No. No, just a little bit. These I could eat at least. Mm hmm. But not real hot. Yeah, I'm not getting the intense. Mm hmm. Those were intense. These I'm not getting intense. The heat's there though, it's building quite well, having two, but it's not like those were like those I we were like, whoa! This is just like, okay, um it's I was ready for it. Building a little bit, but still yeah. not intense. Yeah. Kinda spicy, but I don't know yeah. about all that hot. I'll rate these better than those, just these I can actually eat. But I want I'm left the key thing on these is I'm left wanting more. I want more heat. I want more punch. Mm -hmm. I want that intense they're talking about. Mm -hmm. So these, I'll go better than a half. I'm gonna go two thirds because they're pretty good, but they they're lacking. They need they need a more punch, more kick. Yeah, without a doubt about that. If they were hotter, I'd give them perfect, but I'll mm -hmm. give them just a little bit lower than that. I'm going with a three quarters thumbs up on those. The hot doesn't cover up the pork because it's not that hot, mm -hmm. but. So you get a little bit of that pork flavor action going on, very crunchy. Starting to build up a little bit in the mm. heat factor here, but not that much. Mm. Three quarters thumbs up, I think, for those. It's been an interesting assortment here, Mr. Dirty. Uh, this super box is all over the place. Check out his channel, by the way, on YouTube, the GTM Show. Yes, indeed. And uh, yeah, I think he's at the real Mr. Dirty on Twitter. Yes, he is. He's at the real Mr. Dirty on the Twitter machine. He's been a longtime friend of the Snack Society. That's right. So we want to keep this snacking universe growing. That's right. Last but not least, everybody knows about bugles. Oh, everybody knows about bugles. But for some reason, these bugles are la are labeled Tom's bugles. Our bugles are made by General Mills. Yeah, our yeah. bugles just say bugles. Yeah. They don't say like like Sam's bugles or Joe's bugles, Mr. Dirty's bugles. They don't say anybody's bugles. Yeah, it's just bugles. But bugles these, are bugles. These are apparently Tom's bugles. I found some information that apparently Tom's bugles may or may not be gluten free. Hmm. But I don't know. Okay. Uh, let's see so that I means it's like a new thing since all like gluten free deal is like, you know, a new trend. Only place I've ever seen Tom's Bugles was in Delaware a few years ago. Huh. But okay. uh, anyway, these are nacho cheese flavored. And go ahead and look like regular old bugles. Yeah, it's just like regular yeah. bugles. I don't see anything different about them. They got the Ooh, they got a they got a weird scent in that yeah. bag. Yeah, they're kinda cheesy. Very odd. You can't really do the cone finger because the hole's too small. Yeah, but oh, they look like regular old bugles that you've seen any time before. That's right. I'm not so much getting nacho cheese smell. It's kind of an odd it's, smell, but they're orange. They're pretty much what I would it's expect. It's a cheesy smell, but not really nacho cheese. I wouldn't yeah. Say, I know. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, try them up. You see, I'm taking a second handful here. Yeah. I can dig these. They're good. Mm -hmm. They taste just like wreck the other bugles. You know, this the same consistency, the same crunch, the same yep. corniness. Mm -hmm. Nothing different there. And it has that bugles aftertaste. Yep. Bugles sure always have a ton of aftertaste, and it has an aftertaste. It's just mixed in with cheese flavor, mm -hmm. and it's there. It has that powdered cheese taste to it. One thing I would say is this is closer to a cheddar cheese, I think, mm -hmm. than uh, nacho yes. cheese. Although nacho, I think, is cheddar, but just mm. with uh, jalapenos mm. in it. There's no like jalapeno flavor going on or any raised mm. heat there to represent the nachoness of it. But they're pretty good. Yeah, the cheese flavor builds really well, mm -hmm. and it works really good with the bugle flavor, uh -huh. with that horn. These are solid. These I really like. I can see these being kind of dangerous. I would probably kill this bag. Of everything we've had today, since I wasn't into those sour cream ones, of the super box for me, these are the favorite. These I like. Full thumbs up. All Mr. Right. Dirty, you did good. I'm going to go a little lower than that and say mm. seven eighths thumbs up. Because mm. one factor is missing for me. Right. That's salt. It's not. They're not as salty as regular bugles. Yeah, it's all cheese. Yeah, it's all cheese. So I would like a little more saltiness with my cheese, please. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a seven eighths of a thumbs up. Okay, okay. So, good assortment here by Mr. Dirty. Thank you so much for the super box, my friend. Uh, check out again his channel GT, at the GTM Show and uh, at Mr. The Real Mr. Dirty on Twitter. Of there course. you go. Also check us out, the Snack Food Appreciation Society, by clicking on the link in the description down below. 
You can be a member just like Mr. Dirty and be one of the coolest people in the whole world. Why haven't you done it yet? <laughs> also, follow us on Twitter at Brandon Reich SAS and at the Heel Will Mahoney. That's right, and when you do, you can take those same tags over to the Instagram machine and follow us on there for behind the scenes photos and inside info at Brandon Reich SAS and at Heel Will Mahoney. And when you do, all over the social media universe, you always need to throw down one hashtag. Hashtag Snack Society all day, every day to keep things going real in the Snack Society world. Yeah. And you know you got to join that Four Horsemen. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. Help us get to 500K by New Year's Day. That's a half a million views if That's you don't right. Know. And in the meantime, in between time, thank you for watching Super Box, and we'll see you next time. Super Box. Bye-bye.